What's popping, my people? How you all doing? I know. I know. I don't perfect myself. I told people to guess what's cooking. On Instagram. And yes, and this is what I was cooking. After every storm comes the rainbow. And here's our rainbow. I didn't want it to be like this. This is why I actually don't share things because I tend to be emotional. I don't like sharing my emotions. Uh, we weren't hiding it. We didn't sure. want to like use it for cloud chasing. And when, whenever cloud comes, it always comes, comes with, with a, lot of hate. a lot of hate. Do you guys know? You like avoid everything. It's not being hurt. Early last year, we lost our child. Most of you noticed the baby bum, just like this, pregnancy. We wanted it to flow with everything. We didn't want to announce it. We posted a picture that the bum was so visible. Just a week after, the baby was no more. It was hard, it was sad, but growing up, I was taught everything happens for a reason and it's always for the best interest of the lost one. And I don't, I, I tried and made that and I made myself believe that that was it. Maybe it was the best thing for the baby. Maybe, maybe it wasn't going to, the journey wasn't going to turn out amazing. Maybe it wasn't going to be fine. Maybe, maybe I, I tried putting a lot of negative stuff on it so that I believe that it was for the best. In silence, we managed to do it. I thank God for family, I thank God for friends, I thank God for my lovely husband who made it feel like I'm good, it's okay, we still have forever, we still have more chances to make other babies. And later, we just, I wasn't on any birth control, never been. Ever since I had our first child, our rainbow started showing. I didn't want to go out and see how beautiful it was. Just go, see, get excited and embrace it. Because I was scared. I was really, really scared that, you know, sometimes storms come twice. And you never know. Another storm might come. You never know how hard it will hit or how low it would hit. So I didn't want to go out and see the rainbow no matter how many times. Hubby told me it's here and you got to see it and you have to come and you know share it. I was hesitant about testing the pregnancy. I was so about the pregnancy test. I didn't take it until we went to Mombasa and I left it here intentionally and what went and got another one because he wanted me to like come out and accept that it's there. Even though I had, I knew, I knew I was pregnant. I knew, like, deep down I knew I already had pregnancy symptoms. It was my third time in those past trimesters, so obviously, no. I didn't want to get involved, I didn't want to bond, I didn't want to We really planned for it, but when it actually happened, I got scared.
it's months now. A rainbow is out here shining and it's so visible and that's why we decided to share this with you. It felt like this is just the right time. Yeah, the right like. time. After the pregnancy test, we thought you all will join the dots. You'd be like, that's a guarantee you are. And you know, not everybody wishes you well. Not everyone wishes you well. I was so scared of that. But not everyone out here wants the best for you. Not everyone wants you to have whatever you want to have. We're still young, like super young. Uh, it's not each and you can your quotes, you can your quotes. It should not be about age, it should be about energy. By the time you're 25, to go to Malaysia, by the time you're 30, we are not dealing with toddlers by the time you're 30. We want to like set, it's like now we're settling to travel when they go to Mashole. We are good to travel, and there are kids who can, who can, yeah, you don't have to like. Be all over the place. We didn't share the pregnancy results at first, but we kept giving your people hints. Every now and then, we give you hints so that it would be easier for us to flow with it and not have to do this. Right now, not have me sit down and talk about it because I knew having to talk about it would bring me emotions and. A lot of people were questioning it on Instagram. But I have to just say, and we wanted you guys to just say. So, here it is. When we first found out we are having a baby, I told my best friend. Then later on, I told after her, I told a couple of friends, and then my grandma has always been my pillar of strength. My grandma was my pillar of strength. She was among the first people to know about Alia's pregnancy. I felt comfortable, safe, and everything. She assured me everything was going to be fine. She assured me all was going to be fine. But this time around, I didn't have her. I guess that's why I was even more scared of loss. Because I lost her. I lost our angel. And I felt like I didn't have anyone to assure me of my baby's safety. What scared me trying, but. I wasn't, I wasn't, you know, feeling safe with it. I wasn't. I then told my, one of my grandma's sisters, and the mom wasn't even there. When she touched my mom, my tummy, I felt like my baby is safe. I felt like I've told a very prayerful person about it and we are good and 
I felt much better. And then she kept selling. She told my auntie, and I moved forward to telling more people from my side. And I didn't want to cry. I didn't want to cry. This is why we weren't going to announce it. This is why we weren't going to sit down and talk about and tell you guys that we have a second child because there's a story behind it and we have to tell you how the journey went and how we found out and how we feel about it and it was definitely going to raise emotions. We just wanted it to flow. So early this year that's when when we came back from Mombasa that's when I told my grandma my grandma's sister that is so she's my grandma. I told her she told my aunties and my family. Some of my family, people from my side know. I went on and told my, all my friends. And yeah, we kept growing and you're growing and every single day what kept comforting me, kept making every single moment count. It got to a point I even forgot that. This is a rainbow baby. Like, the sky is clear now. It's like it's already clear and um, be in it. To my baby, I love you so, so much. You're an answered prayer. All my kids are answered prayers. Like, with Alia, our firstborn, a toddler. If you're watching this as for the first time, we have a two-year-old. Baby, I'll tell me. Can you show me? Show? Show me again. Baby, mama, mm -hmm. mom, tell me. Show me I'm eating groups. I did. I'm eating groups. Oh. Hope you all are doing well. We then the photo shoot is a wrap. We are waiting for our bolt. Use the code. Oh, use the code what's family to 50 and get 250 Kenya shillings off your first trade. Like if it's your first time, you get 150 Kenya shillings, which is a really, really amazing deal. I know most of you have never seen me makeup. Guys, tell me if I should be wearing makeup every single day. This is how bomb I look with makeup. Nakanga was very good makeup. Now, this is how I look with makeup. Done by the best, my auntie, makeup by Lena. And we had Phil Studio. Phil Studio. Alia? No! Say hi. Say hi, Mama. I'm a poor Zaki the whole time. Like, Aki Kujapa, this is the third time we're coming here. Aki Kujapa. Aki Kujapa, you guys. Hey. I'm totally different. I'm totally different. She's all over the place. You remember that shoot that was really cute? Nah, yeah. mm. You guys, we only had one picture. Why? Because it was a millisecond. I just picked her up and we were all laughing at how she is. So it came out perfect because we were all laughing. <laughs> and Maeve. she was gone. Yeah. Long time I take a photo. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Subscribe. Tell them subscribe. Like. Where do you subscribe? I need you around. The yeah, pressure's man. getting way too heavy now. Hey, you should know that I'm not ready, no. Not good at being alone. I know you know that I am empty now. 
gets into sleep so very rarely now We on different paths, I know not for some time Girl, this shit's so sad and it's like every night This home just ain't a home, I know you